Council tax base for 2019-20. The good news is that there has been an increase by 729 band properties, which equates to an increase of 2.1%. This could generate extra council tax receipts of just over 1 million a year, much needed funding that will help protect key services from the government's continuing cuts to our funding. This is due to a, a number of factors. Um, namely the Council's programme of encouraging new house building and, and just to put on record and, and to contact Madam Mayor, at the moment 35 new developments are currently on site um, and of those, 90% of those are on brownfield sites. We've also reduced the take up of the Council Tax Reduction Scheme and we're taking a more optimistic assumption about future levels of collection. This is reflected in the financial forecasts being used for 2019-20 budget setting process and the financial position will be significantly worse without the additional council tax receipts that I mentioned earlier. At 4.5 Madam May, you will see that we are proposing that the council tax premium charge remain unchanged at 50% on long term empty properties for the year 2019-20. It's considered that an increase could lead to a reduction in collection and recovery rates and an increase in avoidance activity. But as you would expect, Mr. Madam Mayor, we will monitor the situation in the coming year. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Are there any other members who wish to speak on the motion? Thank you, Madam Mayor. I'd like to propose an amendment to the motion. Councillor Smith? Yes, I'd like to second that, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Cashman? Councillor to put this amendment to the council in the hope that its impact will produce more income for the council and also ensure that residents it also ensure that residents know that we're acting on their behalf. We propose this amendment based on the following principles. If we're asking local residents to pay extra council tax year on year, then we should be showing them that we're acting to collect the proper council tax from those who are holding second homes on the door end. This measure will only affect those with second homes who have no intention of bringing them back into use uh, so that a person can live in that property. Uh, if the Labour Group insists on building on precious green spaces and they say that they do, they want to do this as a last resort, then they should put their money where their mouth is and take necessary action to bring these homes back into use. The amendments also refute paragraph 4.5.4 in this item. As it stands, the paragraph states that the council has also taken into account the likelihood that some owners of empty properties may simply refuse to pay the higher charge and or take avoidance action to avoid it. Whilst increasing the premium charge may provide a stronger incentive for owners of long-term properties to bring them back into use, all the likely consequences of adopting the maximum premium charges include a reduction in collection and recovery rates 
for premium cases. That's end quotes. The amendment refutes this statement in the following ways. So firstly, you can only know the results of this theory after putting these charges into place and gathering the data. Anything else written about avoidance is purely speculation. We respect our residents and we expect that they will pay their council tax to contribute to, society, to society and this council. However, punitive measures and threat of action for council tax avoidance is sometimes necessary and pe for people to pay their tax, particularly those with second homes are inclined to try to avoid that tax. If we are to accept the council's point in paragraph 4.5.4, then nobody would pay council tax. The point that people could refuse to pay council tax is something that can be said of anyone and not just those with second homes or empty properties. In fact, those with second homes are more likely to be more well off and able to pay. The council's point in this paragraph is to say that you charge those holding these homes, if you charge those holding these homes more, then they will simply not pay. What message does that send to residents who pay their council tax? You go ahead and pay your council tax, but we're too afraid to ask those who have non used second homes to pay theirs too. I ask this council to think about the message that this sends to residents. They shouldn't be punished year on year with higher council tax bills if we're not willing to take action against those that are holding homes. More recently, residents have made it clear how much they value their green spaces. So let's bring these homes back into use before building on those green spaces. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Smith, would you like to speak on it? Uh, no, thank you, Madam Mayor. Any other members wish to speak once on the amendment? Okay, Councillor Ashton, if you like to respond. Holding homes. Holding homes. I don't even think the Councillor Cashman has even read our antique home strategy or how we even try to, to, to mitigate the problem of empty homes. Second homes owned by people who are hoarding homes, these often belong to people who've lost loved ones. Could be from other, could be, could be from, sorry, Madam Mayor, can I finish? Councilor Cashman, please, let Jane finish. These are homes that are, could, could belong to people who don't even live in the borough, but have sadly lost people who have lived, who have lived for many years in Nosley. I think we can all agree that we want to minimise empty homes in Nosley, but listening to Councillor Cashman's argument, you could be left with the impression that we do little to address <coughs> the empty homes in the borough. Indeed, the reality is quite the opposite. With the help of our detailed empty home strategy, which I, I would urge Councillor Cashman to have a read of, where to engage with the owners of such properties begins not at the two stage, the two year stage, but as early as six months after the property becomes vacant. We use a range of tools to get the properties reoccupied, not just technically available for use, but actually having nosy residents living in them. Therefore, the one size fits all blanket approach proposed tonight by Councillor Cashman would not be the solution. Instead, we have an intelligence-led approach which we find very effective. Indeed, we remain the only council on the, on the city region to effectively use empty dwelling management orders to bring empty properties back into use. <coughs> this is despite the restrictions placed on the use of EDMOs by the coalition government in 2011, the government Council of Cashman's party was an active part of. Madam Mayor, it's not simple, it's not as simple as to simply double the council tax premium charge and suddenly all those houses will be lived in again. Early engagement with the owners of long-term <coughs> properties tell us that the premium charge actually slows down their efforts to get their properties reoccupied. 
increasing the premium charge will only compound that problem. Of course, we could do so much more at the government, which your party, Councillor Cashman, had propped up for so long, having decimated our budget by over £100 million. Despite these cuts, the Labour Council has prioritised funds to invest in work to tackle empty homes across the borough and to bring them back into occupation. Over the last three years, this approach has seen us target 224 long-term empty properties where previous engagements had failed. Of these 224 properties, 161 have now been returned to occupation, a reduction of 71%. In closing, Madam Mayor, <coughs> policies such as these are reviewed annually to ensure the Council is, is, is maximising its income from Council tax. And you would expect we will keep a close eye on our progress. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Ashton. We are now going to vote on the amendment of Councillor Cashman to put in. Yeah? So we can go through the vote. I will be paid with the amendment. All those against the amendment? Would anyone like to abstain? Carried. Yeah. Oh, carried. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> sorry, can we have one? Sorry, can we have a chair and I want to go to the meeting, please, on the agenda. has been lost. I will now return to the substantial motion as moved by Councillor Aston. Are there any further comments, questions from members who have not already spoken on substantial matter? Anyone? No? If there are no further <coughs> comments or amendments, can I ask if Councillor Jane Aston, as the mover of the original motion, would like to add anything further before I put substantial motion to the vote. Thanks, Madam Mayor. Sim simply to ask Council to support the recommendations as laid out in uh, recommendation two on the report. Thanks, Madam Mayor. Thank you. I will therefore put the original motion to the vote. All those in favour? All those against? Then I'd like to stay in. The original motion is carried. Item 7, Joint Authorities and Combined Authorities. We have no questions that we receive. Question 8 is Member Special Committee.